So let's talk about surface area and volume. And we'll start with just a, just a prism, something that looks like this. And so notice that um, a rectangular prism like this, this, this could be the method I'm going to talk about too, could be even for like uh, something that was a triangle too. Um, that's not drawn very well. <laughs> So um, I'm going to say that this is 5, this is 3, and this is 6. And so let's first off think about volume. So volume is really uh, a measurement of space. It's, it's how, how much it takes to fill this up. So if I think a little about little 1 by 1 cubes, uh, 1 by 1 by 1 cubes, if I could tuck one in the corner right here, and notice how that just fits right in there, and there's one of them question is how many of these cubes would fit in there now you probably are used to just going oh I could go five times three times six you've seen this type of problem before and what I want you to think about is what we're doing is we're, we're just taking the area of this base right here see how this is five by three so the area of the base is 15 and then the six tells us how many layers we have of that one two three four five six so we can go the base times the height. So the area of the base times the height. So 15 times 6. Notice that's the same as we would get here. Uh, what is that? 30, um, 60, 90, 90. And if this was in inches, um, if these measurements were in inches, this would be in inches cubed because it's how many cubes fill it. Um, same thing here. If I had a shape like this, I would just find the area of the base of the triangle whatever that shape is, and then multiply by the height. So there's volume for prisms, something you've seen before. Um, but I want you to, to cling this whole unit to this idea of base times height. For volume, I can take the area of the base and multiply by the height. So next problem then, uh, I'm going to take that same shape with the same, same measurements. So this is 5. This is three and this is six. And I'll draw that dotted line so you can kind of see the inside of it as well. And now I want to do surface area. So the surface area is, um, it's a two dimensional measure. It's basically how many squares would just cover the shape. Um, so that's, that's what I'm looking for. So for surface area, what I want you to do is to unfold the shape. In other words, you could think about uh, cutting it. So we have this top here. Right, this is five by three. So if I do this, this is my base, five by three. Notice that is uh, just this part right here. There's my base. And then I could fold out some sides. So if I folded out this side, this would be six long, and this is still three. That's this side folded out. Fold out this side, six by three. Fold out that side. Now that height is still six, right? So it's five by six. Fold out that side off the back, 5 by 6. And then I have the top, too. So I could just leave the top connected here and fold it out as well. And that top is 5 by 3. So now what I have is a bunch of panels I can find the areas of. 5 times 3 is 15. 3 times 6 is 18. 6 times 5 is 30. You can just label them all. 6 times 3 is 18. 5 times 3 is, uh, sorry, 5 times 6 is 30. 5 times 3 is 15. And then you add all those together, and that will give you the surface area. And the surface area would be in inches squared because it's how many squares cover the area. All right, again, surface area, unfold and find the areas. Volume, area of the base times the height.